Hello everybody, Patricio Chiwandano here. Today's topic is general linguistics. I'd like to introduce to you some basic concepts of linguistics. So let's delve into, dive into our PowerPoint slides. Yes, general linguistics, that's my name and that's uh, the institution that I am working for. Now before um, delving into aspects of linguistics, I'd like you to look at the features of human language, okay? So you can think of animals which seem to have languages. Think of your cats maybe, or birds, or dogs, yeah. cats, meows, uh, dogs bark, yeah? But do you think they communicate the same, in the same way as we communicate with our languages? So actually there are basic differences between the way we humans communicate uh, from the way animals communicate. Let's see one by one. So human language has features that animal languages do not. These features are called the design features. So the design features are features that are unique to um, human communication. It's unique to our language. It's not, it doesn't exist in animals, but we only we humans can uh, can have the features and the features are called design features. Now features of human language, uh, one of them is like this. Can you think of uh, something in the past simple, something that happened in the past and something that happened in the present and something that will happen in the future? Yeah, think for a few seconds. Something, tell something in the past simple something in the present and something in the future simple, yeah? future tense. Yeah. Again, you can also try to tell me uh, a truth and a lie. For example, you, can, you may say, um, I dreamed about aliens last night. Yeah. And that can be, you can be telling me the truth or you can be telling me a lie. Yeah. Now, only humans have that, cap have that capacity. So the feature of human language is called displacement. What is displacement? Displacement is the ability to talk about the past, the present, and the future. And not necessarily here and now. So say you go to a mall, you meet a friend you know, on, on Sunday, on a Sunday afternoon, and then you talk about your holiday in Bali that you had together uh, last year, the year before. Yeah. You do not talk about uh, some things which are in, in the mall, but you talk about something that happened in the past, in Bali. That's called displacement. So human beings can talk about something which is not here and now. They can talk about something um, not here, not in the, in the place that uh, they are, and also about something that happens in the past or maybe in the future, if they are imagining the future. Yeah. It's called displacement. And then you have um, open-endedness or prevarication. It's called prevarication, which is the ability to tell truths and lies. So as I said before, it's possible for you, well, for everyone actually, to say a truth, to say something true, or to say something which is not true, or to tell some to tell a truth or to tell a lie. Yeah. So you you hardly imagine monkeys flying to each other, right? Yeah. So um, also uh, to create something new. Human beings are very skillful in coining, in creating new words for new concepts or new objects. Years ago, when I was at your age, I never talked about uh, gadgets. Yeah, the gadgets were not existent back then. But now, gadgets is one of our everyday words. Yeah. Okay. So um, that's uh, the features. One of the features of human language is displacement and open-endedness or prevarication. Yeah. Um, 
The next one is, okay, why do we call up something, something that hangs on the classroom, on the wall of the classroom, a board or a window or a shirt, yeah? Now, this is called the arbitrary nature of language. Arbitrary means there is no specific rule, there is no specific pattern that says that this has to be called that, or this has to be called shirt, this has to be called finger. There is no rule for that, and that's why it is called arbitrary. So, arbitrary, arbitrariness is also a feature of human language. There is simply no fixed rule why an object is called a specific name or term. And there is simply no fixed rule or no fixed pattern. That's why it is arbitrary. Yeah. However, there are some exceptions to arbitrariness. Um, one of the exceptions is that language can be iconic. Iconic means like the utterance long time ago, somehow the form of this word long, yeah, somehow represents a longer length of time. That's, that's iconic. It, it represents the, the nature of the object. Yeah. Here, the length of time is represented by uh, many O's there, long time ago. Yeah. Also, in our Japanese words, we have kuwode, kuwapi, kuwampang. These are all um, not, ar not arbitrary, this is uh, something iconic, something that somehow represents the concept, the nature of the concept or the nature of the object that is being represented by the words. Okay. Language is also onomatopoeic. Onomatopoeic means it is derived from the sounds. Yeah. For example, the word bang yeah, in English language, the word door, when we represent the, the, the sound of a pistol going off, the door. Mengaduh, yeah. also from the word aduh. Yes, that means it is derived from the sound, from the original sound. It is, it is called onomatopoeic. Onomatopoeic, yeah. So uh, these two are exceptions to arbitrariness. Here, we may see some kind of pattern. Yeah, iconic and onomatopoeic. Okay. Uh, so, what is linguistics? Simply defined, linguistics is the study of human language with all of its aspects. Yeah, that's a very simple definition: study of human language with all of its aspects. Yeah. And then linguistics branches off to several more specific areas. Uh, we have phonology, which studies sounds. Yeah. We have morphology, which studies morphemes. We have syntax, which studies uh, sentence patterns. We have psycholinguistics, you know, the study of uh, how human minds governs or determines the, the words or the sentence patterns that they say or they produce. Yeah. Uh, semantics, the study of meaning. Semiotics, the study of science. And psycholinguistics, the study of, uh, uh, oh yeah, sorry, not psycholinguistics. I, I, I meant to write sociolinguistics, yeah, not psycholinguistics. I have explained sociolinguistics, uh, psycholinguistics, but this one is, should be sociolinguistics. Now, sociolinguistics is study of society through the language that they use. Yeah, sorry for this title. It should be sociolinguistics. Okay? Yeah. So that's it, uh, linguistics, uh, a very brief introduction to linguistics. Um, then um, after this, I'm going to continue with, in the next slide, I'm going to continue with the branches of the linguistics. Okay, goodbye for now, stay, stay safe and stay healthy, and good luck for your studies. Goodbye. <laughs>